In today's video, we're going to go over some EMS slang so you can stay in the communications loop. So stick around. Slang in general is influenced by the area it's used in. We're going to go over some EMS slang that are quite common and some you may not have heard before. If you have some that I missed, uh, please put them down in the comments below. So let's get started. We're going to start off with demos. Demos is actually short for demographics. This is information you are going to get about your patient. This includes name, home address, birth date, insurance, but it can also include like medications, medical history and such. Depending on who you get this from, you'll get more or less information. Like if it's from the patient, the patient's family or other first responders on the scene. So I was on scene of a motor vehicle accident and I asked the police officer there if he had the patient's demos. He looked at me like I was speaking Klingon. So realizing he had no idea what I was talking about, I asked him if he had the person's ID. Uh, so once I said that, he was like, oh, oh yeah, here it is. So not only is slang dependent on the area you're in, but it's also service oriented as, as well in this case. So next up is black cloud. Black cloud is a term used for those in EMS that always get the worst calls. Uh, commonly, it's also known as a <laughs> magnet. The counterpart to black cloud is white cloud, which means they seem to get minimal calls and or nothing too serious while on shift. Paragod. Paragod, this is a term used for an extremely arrogant paramedic who thinks they're better than they actually are. It's one thing to be confident, but another to be cocky and conceited. I've been fortunate to have worked with some phenomenal medics. Uh, besides their outstanding skills on the road and patient care, it, it's really their sense of humor as well as their humility that really sets them apart. All right, pulse ox. Pulse ox is short for pulse oximeter, which is what we use to measure the oxygen saturation of a patient. Now, this one's pretty easy to figure out, but I wanted to add it for those that are starting EMT classes so they can focus on more important things. Ah, uh, the Q word. So this is a word that shall never be uttered while upon shift, due to the possibility of making the EMS gods angry and smiting thee with their cruel wrath, and usually in the form of extremely high call volume and or intensely convoluted complex emotional entity calls that you could ever imagine in your worst nightmares. <laughs> so with, with that said, you know, we are a very superstitious bunch. And this may be one of the quintessential slang words or phrases that pretty much spans the entire United States. For those of you currently on shift, I will not be saying this word in this video. Although those that can't figure it out, I will have it on the next screen. For those of you on shift and extremely susceptible, look away, keep the audio up, and I'll give you the all clear to come back. So that word is coming in three, two, one. <laughs> That's enough of that. All right, come on back. We're good to go. Now we have salty. Salty is a word used to describe someone that shows behavioral traits of disgust and resentment towards their job and others due to burnout. These people frequently want others to feel the same way. You know, we see a lot of stuff in EMS, a lot of it reoccurring time and time again. And that may be displeasing or rather annoying, whether it's with patients, patients' families, with management, with equipment, or whatever. It can get to some people. But understand, things go wrong all the time. It happens to all of us, so you're not alone. So try not to get too salty. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we have sparky. Sparky is a word used to describe someone that's overly enthusiastic, which could lead to increased errors, decreased effectiveness, as well as extreme irritation in coworkers. I've also heard them to refer to as Rescue Randy or just Randy for short. You can think of it like a cute little puppy. You know, it's so happy to be there with you. It bounces around, wants to play, wagging its tail, knocking stuff over, pooping and peeing where they shouldn't be. Yeah, that's pretty much Sparky. So zero to hero is someone who decides to immediately pursue paramedic certification but has no experience on the road in EMS. It's highly controversial in some circles and people have some pretty strong feelings one way or the other. 
I know some people who have done that and they've become great medics, but they all mention the learning curve once they hit the streets. Uh, being on the road, you'll see and experience things in a different viewpoint from how it's portrayed in the classroom. I mean, for me personally, I would want my BLS or basic life support skills and knowledge solid in that environment before I would have to perform at the ALS or advanced life support level. Just because you're a paramedic doesn't mean that you don't have to know or perform at the BLS level because it's always BLS before ALS. All right, trauma naked. Trauma naked is the act of cutting clothes off of a patient to assess for additional injuries uh, not seen right off the bat. Oh, and just a heads up, if you're in an area that's on the colder side where the patient's wearing a down coat, and you know, the ones with all that stuffing and or feathers in it, and you need to cut it off, do it outside the ambulance. Trust me on this. If not, you'll wish you had listened to that piece of advice. T-Y-F-Y-S. We use this in texts and all kinds of social media. It's the abbreviated form of thank you for your service. Because the majority of us have or have developed a sarcastic sense of humor, it's usually used between other first responders in a sarcastic manner, pretty much just to bust each other's stones. T-M-F-M-S. Just like the previous one, and but this one's an abbreviated form of thank me for my service. <laughs> it's always used between first responders in a sarcastic manner. When not used in a humorous, sarcastic manner, that person is merely an asshat and no one really respects that person anyway. So that's a little bit of EMS slang for you. If you have any ones that you use on the job, put them down below in the comments and who knows, I may have to make another one of these videos. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel because we have so much more information coming out for you soon. So I just want to say thank you and look forward to seeing you at the next video.